What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title was going down. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe button for me, please. Definitely, uh, stay tuned. You know, stay tuned. There's definitely going to be more and more updates. Uh, you know, every day I try to at least knock out two videos a day. Um, and get some stuff out there for y'all. Um, you know, I've been going through a little bit of things, but it, it definitely helps. You know, when I get on here, when I talk to y'all, like I said in the last video, when I talk to y'all, when I comment, you know, I see a lot of y'all comments and, you know, some sometimes they don't let some of y'all comments through, um, you know, because uh, somebody had commented, but like I put a comment, but it's deleted. I don't delete them, you know, so I don't want y'all thinking that. But uh, you got to get in this video. See what's First, let's go to senior correspondent Jonathan Sari, who is in Butler, Pennsylvania. Jonathan, we are learning so much now. Yeah, we certainly are from spectators, everyday spectators at that rally, almost all of them with a cell phone, not realizing they would be recording history. It's helping people piece together those chaotic moments that ensued during and immediately after the shooting. Police yeah. attempting to move in the direction of the shooter are seen in one video. They're blocked by a perimeter security fence. They end up using a police cruiser to ram the fence to create an opening. The Army veteran who shot this video tells Fox News Digital he was surprised the rally security plan did not have a patrolled access point in this section of fence to handle this type of emergency. But that's what I'm saying though. What I don't get and what I have an issue with is if y'all know that Trump is in the area y'all know that sadly and I'm going to say this. I'm being real with y'all. Y'all know I'll always be real with y'all. Sadly, a lot of people don't like Trump. A lot of people don't. You know, me personally, y'all know that's, you know, my road dog. But, you know, what I don't get is that if y'all know that he is around the area, he's in these areas. Y'all need to be watching from miles and miles away. You know, you never know. And they, I know I might I might be, you know. I guess over exaggerating, but everywhere needs to be covered. And for that to happen is, is very crazy to me. I don't just seconds it. after the gunman opened fire, a Secret Service counter sniper fired back and struck him. A federal law enforcement source tells Fox News local officers were inside that same building the shooter was on top of. But local media cite other sources who claim the cops were actually in a. So we got both counter sniper teams right here. The, evacua uh, the evacuation point right here in Trump. So we got people. He, he's saying there, there there was police officers that was so-called. They said that was in the same building where the shooter was, you know, uh, above. But they're now they're saying, you know, there was a different building. Regardless, if they know that they can they can have any type, any type of threat, even these homes right here, even these homes. Make sure y'all watching all everything. Watch everything. I don't get that. Everything needs to be watched, especially buildings, especially buildings. There are sources crazy. who claim the cops were actually in a nearby building instead. WPXI TV has obtained a photo from the rooftop where the shooter was killed, showing his cell phone and a transmitter resembling a TV remote. Investigators believe the device to be some sort of detonator and say they found rudimentary explosive devices in the gunman's car parked nearby. Investigators say in the hours before the shooting, 20 year old Thomas Matthew Crooks purchased a ladder at Home Depot and went to a gun store to buy ammunition. The owner of that gun shop says FBI agents came by. So my thing is, when did all of this take place? When did all of this take place? Everybody has these same questions. When did all this take place to where he didn't put a ladder up? He put it in the car. You know, when 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 he put when he put the ladder up, ain't nobody see him do like like what. I'm I'm I, hey I'm trying to figure out if he got superpowers. Cause if he can if he, if he's invisible and he was invisible for for a few minutes and he just walked through I I just don't I, 
Sunday for an interview, and the business is fully cooperating with their investigation. This afternoon, members of the House and Senate will receive separate virtual briefings from both the Secret Service and FBI, and the Department of Homeland Security's Office of Inspector General has opened an investigation into the Secret Service's security plan for Saturday's rally. In a letter to the OIG, Senator Chuck Grassley writes, this was a monumental security failure. Former Definitely. President Trump came within a centimeter of death because a gunman was able to get within hundreds of feet and in direct line of fire from where he spoke to his and that's what i'm saying if it would be di I, I can't even say it would be different because regardless it's still a, a you know assassination attempt but my thing is is that even if it was somewhere else it had been a little bit different we're talking about a building you looking directly at that building there's police officers that is around that building there's people that is, is, you know what I mean? I just, I, a lot of stuff is just crazy. Supporters. I don't understand. Harris, back to you. All right. Uh, Jonathan, thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm I Emily. Just, I, don't, I don't understand it because it's just a simple fact of like, there's police officers that's, you know, around the building. And they say now they're not, they wasn't in the same building. It doesn't matter. If, if it were, if they know, my thing is, if the Secret Service, you know, the police officers, they know because they you obviously have to have some type of plan. Obviously, they didn't have a plan when he got on the stage because you don't you, you have to have even music artists and stuff like that. Oh, we got to have a game plan. If this happens, if that happens, we got to make sure the security, you know, the security detail. We have to make sure what is going on. Everything is straight. You know, my thing is. The latter, the latter thing is is, is crazy to me. And then they, they saying that it couldn't even fit in the car. Like, it's so many questions that a lot of people have to where it's like, dang, like, is this serious? How how are the police officers around this? How How is this? It's so many questions. It's a lot of questions of what's going on. And uh, definitely somebody needs to do something about something. They, they, the more investigation, you know, the. I just I I I I be I be so confused when I when I when I've been seeing you know more and more updates of new things coming out because somebody needs to be saying something you know about what's ha what I don't know it, it, it I try to stop myself from you know asking asking you know these questions because I you know I don't want to get in trouble or nothing but it's just it's just it's crazy to me it's definitely crazy you know and and I, I I'm not understanding what's 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 going on i don't understand you know that was the first time i heard you know when it was like you know there were police officers they said there was police officers in the same building of the shooter but then now you know they're saying it was in a different building like come on y'all enough the lies you know get that truth out there definitely hit that like button, subscribe button much love everybody catch y'all next one